William Lajeunesse has the details on that for us. William. Well, the irony is, Sandra, first we get the big dog and pony show right, but now police will say nothing about what appears to be a big embarrassment. So 10 days ago, multiple agencies celebrated the largest seizure, seizure of fentanyl ever on a U.S. highway. I can't underscore enough how significant this seizure was, and DEA is actively working with CSP on investigating this case. What the DEA did not tell us at that presser is the driver of the vehicle had already disappeared. So according to this affidavit, here's what happened. After being questioned, the highway patrol turned David Maldonado over to the DEA, where he agreed to become a snitch and cooperate and deliver the drugs in hopes of identifying other individuals in the criminal organization. The following day, June 19th, on the way to a controlled delivery of fentanyl, Maldonado fled from the DEA, eluded surveillance, and removed the tracker from his vehicle. Maldonado is no longer cooperating with Denver DEA. He is a proven flight risk and has family in Mexico. Now, it's plausible, says a former federal agent, this was intentional or a massive mistake. I would find it unlikely that there would be something that an individual would, A, be knowledgeable about its whereabouts, and two, be able to disable it or get rid of it. Secondly, um, uh, on a surveillance operation, if you had somebody who was a cooperating defendant um, and the vehicle was tracked, there probably would also be the installation of a immobility device in order to, the ability to kill the car if the person ran. So not the highway patrol, the sheriff, or the DEA will comment now, Sandra. Another irony, here you have one of the biggest fentanyl busts on record, a fugitive on the run, and police refuse to release his photo. Apparently they don't want the public's help to catch him. Back to you. Wow, very interesting. William Lajeunesse, thank you.